Hello and welcome back to our PHP tutorial series. This is the third instalment and today I'm going to be teaching you mathematics, operators and includes. Right, so as you know, whether you've got programming experience or not, computers are very powerful for doing mathematics very quickly. So, what, what can a PHP do? Well, it can do a wide range of sums. It can do the basics, addition, multiplication, subtraction, division you can or you can combine them in such a way that you can do pretty much whatever sum you want so what I'm going to do here is just show you the basics so we'll start by doing let's say an addition so we'll make a variable called number one and give it a value of one we'll make a variable called number two and call and give it a value of 9, right. Okay, so if we wanted to find the total of that, we could go echo number 1 plus number 2. Save that, go to our browser, refresh, and there we have 10. Okay, so that is how to add. So say if I went now and change that plus to a minus. I have minus 8. Now let's say we wanted to multiply them. Instead of using an x we would use an asterisk. This is used in place of a multiplication symbol. Right. So refresh and there we have 9. And then divide is done with a forward slash. Refresh and we get 0 0.1111111. Right. And that is basically how to do some of the basic uh, basic mathematical sums. But now let's say we wanted to times number 2 by pi. Instead of having to write out pi, we could just put pi. And now we have 28 point whatever. Okay. So if we go back we can go back and we can add an extra number let's say we want to add number 3 equals 10 now remembering the basic rules of maths in in uh, school mathematics is done by a calculator or a computer in a certain order it's everything in the brackets is done first then the powers are done then the divisions, then the multiplications, then the additions, then the subtractions. So let's say we wanted to add, num add numbers 1 and 2, then divide it by number 3. That should give us a value of 1. Okay, so number 1 plus number 2 divided by number 3. Well, that didn't work, that gave us 1.9, and that's because it did the division first. It divided number 2 by number 3, then added that to number 1. So remember, brackets are done first. So if we put the number 1, add number 2 in brackets, then refresh, then we have 1. Because remember, computers aren't like humans, they have to do something in a fixed order. They can't detect what you want, they'll only do what you put in and so that is the basics of maths now there's one more maths function which I want to show you and that's incrementation incrementation is very useful when you want to increase something by one every time something's done and how we do this say we've got a, num a number called i and it has a value of one if we put I plus plus that plus plus will echo I plus the value of 1 which is 2 so if I save refresh oops sorry I plus plus echo I there we go 2 sorry I made a little mistake there right 
Okay. So now let's say we wanted to go down by one for i minus minus. That gives us a value of zero. Right. And that is incrementation in a nutshell. Some of you might have heard of a programming language called C. Now that has nothing to do with this. What C was, it was meant to, it was a language that was meant as an improvement on the programming language C. And what C means is C one. So in effect it's just a programmer's sense of humour, which you'll have to get used to. Right. The final thing I wanted to cover today was the include function. Now, if you have a script that's getting very complicated, you might want to split it up into several different scripts just to make it just to make it easier to follow, easier to understand, put it into bite-sized chunks. So, and the include function allows you to do this. So if I make a an extra um, an extra folder now. A file called test2.php and I open that up and I go php php and we'll put a variable in there called number 2 and we'll give it a value of 99 ok and we'll put a value in the original test folder that file called number one and we'll give it a value of one. Okay. So how do we access this file from there? From this, right. We can use one of four functions. The first one is include. Include. Right. Open bracket. And inside a string we put the name of our our the uh, directory of our folder and in this case it's in the same folder as that the file we've already opened so we'll just put test2.php right and then we will echo number one plus number two and that should give us um, 100 there we go so that is how to use the include function because what the include function does is it basically gets all code from inside here, places it into here, and it op operates as if it was all one big file. We can also use what's called include once, and it will do the same thing, or we can use require or require once. And these functions, as I said, will come in handy once you get in big long scripts because if I go into one of my more complex scripts, let's say um, let's go with this. Okay. This code is nine hundred and thirty five lines long. Now that's not much, but when you want to go through it looking for little things, it can become a bit tedious, so that's why I've split it down a little bit into separate files. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, and I will be updating my channel on a, reg on a regular basis, and the rest of the team will soon be starting making videos. So, if you like what you see, Feel free to leave a comment, feel free to rate the video, feel free to send us a message and we'll try and respond to you. So thanks for watching and we shall see you.